When I was analyzing the options market for this stock, I noticed an interesting dip in the 3D volatility. This piqued my interest, so I decided to look at the trading volume of options and saw some alarming things. However, the real insight came from the open interest in these options, specifically the call options. I paid attention to this particularly red column, I hope you can see it. Then I looked at the market forecast for the stock, and as we can see, the market is predicting a decline in this stock. But let's start from the beginning. I'll try to explain everything step by step beginning with the charts, then moving on to volatility gradually. So what has happened recently? The stock surged by 50% after an earnings report, which is a significant result, especially for a company that was recently the most valuable by market capitalization. Yes, it has since lost that top spot, but that's not critical. The main point is that the company is very expensive and continues to grow, but where could it go next after this rise? We've seen a 15% decline, which is quite substantial, and now we are in consolidation. Volatility will help us understand what's happening here in more detail. As we can see, volatility is starting to drop sharply. Of course, this is partly due to the stock's consolidation. We can see that volatility spiked to 55% in the latter part of June when the stock was rising significantly. I remind you that volatility increases not only when a stock falls, but also when it rises. Currently, the stock is in consolidation and volatility is starting to gradually decrease, with some strikes reaching levels as low as 35%. On average, it's around 45%. I also remind you that different expiration dates have different volatilities. This is completely normal because options are priced individually, which is a key feature of options. Now let's look at the volatility smile and see what's happening here. As we can see, volatility for call options, i.e., towards the stock's price increasing is not rising much and remains relatively flat. However, if we look at the put options, i.e. towards the stock's price decreasing, volatility is increasing. This indicates that investors and traders are hedging this stock, which is a normal situation because the stock is very expensive by all metrics, including financial and technical analysis. Therefore, you need to hedge your risk. Otherwise, you could lose a lot of money. Next, let's look at historical volatility and implied volatility to see what's happening there. As we can see, the gray line represents historical volatility and the white line represents implied volatility. These volatilities are approximately at the same level, which is a normal situation. I always say that you can trade not only the stock itself, but also its volatility. Trading volatility is easier because we have a control point to which volatility tends to return. At the moment, we cannot particularly profit from this, but I can show you a few strategies for the future that will allow us to make money on volatility. This way, I am not just talking without evidence, but demonstrating real strategies. We can set parameters and artificial intelligence can suggest strategies for us. So we can hypothesize that volatility will increase by 15%. This is just a hypothetical proposal to show you the logic. The artificial intelligence suggested a few interesting strategies. Let's look at one of them. It suggests buying one call option with a strike price of $124, buying one put option with a strike price of $124 in August, and selling one call option with a strike price of $124, and another selling a put option with a strike price of $124 in September. This strategy is quite complex, involving both buying and selling, puts and calls, as well as different expiration dates. It's a really complicated strategy, but I don't recommend opening this strategy because of its complexity. I just wanted to show you the logic. I generally don't recommend following strategies suggested by artificial intelligence or bloggers. It's better to think for yourself. Now let's look at some very interesting charts. This is the trading volume of options. In my previous video, I already talked about this and the forecast was mostly accurate. Last time we bounced exactly off the $140 level. Now let's look at the current volume. As we can see, we have huge volumes concentrated at the 130, 125, 123 dollars and 122 dollars levels. This is not a very good sign for Nvidia based on my experience, because we have huge catastrophic resistance levels for call options at these points. As we can see, overcoming these levels will be very difficult. Again, watch my previous video where I explained why we wouldn't surpass 140 dollars and that's exactly what happened. We do have a significant support level with put options at $120. Here it is at $120. But again, look at the disproportionate volume. We have huge resistance walls at those levels and relatively small support levels. So if we suddenly fall below $120 on large volumes, nothing will stop us and we could fall significantly. Again, I'm just warning you. There are no guarantees, no precise forecasting. I'm just pointing out resistance and support levels and their potential. Additionally, I want to show you the open interest in options. I rarely show 
know this, but today is one of those cases where it is necessary to pay attention. I think you understand the difference between trading volumes and open interest. Open interest indicates where the most interest in the stock is concentrated. As we can see, different colors represent different expiration dates, and the red color corresponds to September 20th, 2024. This is right after the company's report, and the report is a significant trigger for the company. There is substantial open interest, especially for September at the $105 level. These are actually levels of resistance and support. Each of these price ranges, such as $120, $130, and $105, will be very difficult to move through. For example, the price might move to $120, then drop sharply to $110. Here we have resistance, then it might rise to $150 and consolidate sharply. We see the same pattern here we drop sharply hit $120 and then continued fluctuating. These levels actually determine a lot. Now let's look at the 3D volatility chart. I sometimes show this chart, which concentrates all the information about volatility, options, expiration dates, and strikes. Professionals will immediately understand how and what strategy can be opened here. I'm demonstrating this to keep you informed about what's happening. Now let's look at the market forecast. Again, I often show you this. It includes all the information about reports, finances, and what the market, including the derivatives market, is predicting. Derivatives are all based on mathematical analysis, a bell curve. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. So if we set the date to the end of summer, the market predicts a price between $115 and $120. The highest probability is $118. Therefore, the market expects a slight price decrease by the end of this summer. But if we look, for example, at the end of the year, like December 2024, we see a significant drop to $105. This means the stock will trade between $100 and $110. This has the highest probability, indicating a substantial drop of up to 20%. Why is this the case? Again, it's a long explanation requiring an analysis of all the reports. However, I wouldn't advise going against the market. Yes, the market can be wrong, but you need to act according to mathematical analysis. You should build strategies so that mathematics is on your side. Now, let me explain in more detail detail what I mean. At the moment, I can't predict stock price movements. I don't know where the stock will go. My main task is proper position management. This means buying stocks in the portfolio so that they positively influence the portfolio's overall value, hedging at the right moment, selling stocks at the right moment, and buying stocks at the right moment, essentially proper position management. Now, let me show you a strategy I've developed. For example, if the stock rises to $155, we can easily make $12,000. If the stock drops to $95, we can also make $10,000. Think about it. We have a very wide price range where we will simply be making money. Yes, if the stock suddenly drops or rises very sharply, we might start incurring losses. This strategy, as it is designed, is based on options. But I am showing you the logic of position management, not recommending you open this strategy. You must understand what I mean when I talk about proper position management. No matter which direction the stock moves, I start making money. That's the real secret. I don't use technical analysis. I don't draw charts, support and resistance lines or triangles. I don't care about all that. I focus solely on proper position management. That's the whole secret. Strategies are indeed very complex and require management. You can't just open them without management. If you do, you will definitely lose money. You need to be able to manage buy stocks, sell stocks, hedge positions, buy options, sell options. It's complex position management. I'm just showing what can be achieved. However, at this moment, I wouldn't buy these stocks. It's not the best move for me. I'll explain why the risk reward ratio is not in the investor's favor. What I mean is yes, you might earn 10 15 dollars but the risk of a decline is higher therefore the math works against you the investor you need to mathematically construct a strategy and then you will be making money but at this moment buying is a losing option according to probability theory yes the stock might rise but again according to probability theory the risks are too high we can also see that almost all stocks are expected to fall according to market forecasts there is a probability that by the end of the year we might experience some kind of recession again this is not guaranteed just a hypothesis if this happens an overvalued stock like Nvidia could fall, and I fully allow for its decline to as low as $50. If there is a severe recession, even down to $30 is possible. Yes, it seems unlikely, but remember we were trading at $30 just a year ago, and there has been such a strong rise within a year. Also, I remind you that I launched a new experiment from zero, and very soon I want to release a new video after another portfolio update. There, I will slowly start trading and try to explain everything I am doing as clearly as possible. If you have any questions, write in the comments. Good luck to everyone.